Hi, this is Becky Grumlich from the Watercolor Classroom. Today's Tuesday tip is how to paint a realistic water bug. We can do lots of cute little ones with spots, um, but this one we're going to actually try to make it look like the ladybug here. So the first color that I'm using is some pyro orange. Now this is a very, very intense color, so you want to go easy with it. And um, I'm going to add a little bit of gamboge as well because I believe that it, it's a little bit too much orange there. And that's what we're going to do. I have it watered down quite a bit. And we're just going to try to get the colors right. We're not going to worry about spots and stuff yet. And now I'm going to get into some of the red. I'm using some pyro red, which also is a very brilliant color. And um, mixing that with just a little bit of permanent alizarum. And going into the side here. And I'm going to go all the way down, even though in the picture you can see it gets quite a bit darker down there. I like to turn dry and move it up some more. And I went the whole way across because I thought maybe that was too orange. Now I'm going to get the shadowing down at the bottom. And for that I'm going to mix just a little bit of Payne's Gray with my uh, mixture here. Put a little bit more red in there. And then we're going to put that along here. Now I have, to, I have lines there. The lines were kind of faint, so you might not be able to see them, but I had lines there about where the shading happens so that I don't have guesswork. Drying off my brush and softening that edge. And some of this red part actually goes up a bit higher, so I'm going to do that so that we have at least one place where there's this nice bright red also have quite a bit of a darker area than what's there, right in here. And then at the bottom, it's almost black. So trying to get that by bringing this around. Okay. Now I'm going to rinse my brush and dry it off really good, even with a tissue when you want it really dry, so that I don't keep spreading that as I soften those edges. Right now, up at the top, like on this ladybug, we have this orange, and I think we need a little bit more of it. It's nature is. Okay, I think that we've got it close. Now we have just a little bit of a glow here at the one side. And I think I'm gonna, and so I'm gonna use bleed proof white. Now I've really cleaned my brush really well. So see, I didn't leave any of that behind. I'm gonna put it over here and just do a little bit of, of it with green mixed in because this is a sort of a light green color. Plain white on there and then put the color in. And that kind of goes out skinny, and then there's a little bit of a shine right there as well. Okay, now we're gonna do this head apart, and we're gonna get the, the whites in there first. And you know, our mind wants to tell us, leave all of that white, but look at what color it really is. It's really reflecting off of the leaves around it, and it's green. And then when that dries, we can go back and Put on um, the detail. To do this little line, I'm going to get out a smaller brush. This is just a Simply Simmons, but it has a little spring to it so it holds its shape well. And I'm going to get some of this uh, red and black color mix because I don't want it to be black black. And turn it towards me the best angle and get this very skinny line. And then I'm going to go in and do these dots also with the same brush. And these dots are a little bit different in shape. 
You want to be sure that you have all your shading done before you do your dots. You have the dots. And this is dry enough now that we can go on into this part. So I'm getting this black a little bit wet, wetter. And I'm going to do the black part. This also has, I'm going to dry my brush for this one. You want a fine line, it's better to not have it too wet. It also has this line that goes across there. And then we're going to do this part, filling it in, in here. There's also a very dark part of the green leaf under here because there's a shadow. And so I'm just adding some of this to make that shadow. Otherwise, he'll look like he's floating. Now, clearly, I didn't get my darks dark enough on those, those greens in the background. It's really quite dark back there. And it's quite dark up here, too. And then it goes into a browner, lighter browner color. So it, it still reads as white, but it's just not. I might have gotten that a little bit dark, but it'll still be fine. Blip here is that that shouldn't quite go down that far, so I'm going to try and get that there. Okay. I think we have a ladybug. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and the bell. And thank you for watching.